today we have Maddie and my dad coming over for dinner. We're gonna be having a great time because we're gonna be making some amazing food. It's been a long time since they've come over. I haven't seen my dad in about three or four months, so it's been a while. Looking forward to it. Before we get started with all that, uh, Kathy and I have to drive down to Santa Monica and buy a 100 pound bag of plaster because the mermaid needs another mold. The question is, do you want to go bye-bye? <laughs> Good morning. If you're like us, when people come over to dinner, you pretty much spend the whole day getting ready for it. <laughs> Vacuuming, cleaning the windows, going shopping. Picking up plaster. Yeah, you know what the stress is for when people come over, but you want them to have a good time and that's kind of the whole point, so that's what we're gonna do. And check out this Rolls Royce. You can only hope that when you do go shopping and do all the stuff that you need to do, you spot some cool cars on the way, like we just did. Well, we've been getting some great comments back, especially from Chrissy. Hi, Chrissy. Thank you, Chrissy. She's watching the progress of the movement. Here it comes, and the pew! <laughs> We're headed to a place called Orge Brothers. Uh, they have all kinds of building materials. It's actually pretty cool. It is cool. It's one of Kathy's favorite places. No. It's not your favorite, favorite place? What is I your think favorite? I it's cool. My favorite place? Yes. To like what? Do what? I don't know. You said it wasn't. So what is? The booth. City. Not fair. Well. Not fair. Um, I thought if you categorized it, I would probably see something else. Like to shop or... or uh, Hang out. Your best building place. Oh, building place. Porsche Brothers. $600. We don't need a pot, we need plaster. I know. A pot for $600. Wow. I like it. Though. You know what? That's a pretty expensive pot. <laughs> Wow. Can we just get a couple of those just for fun? Look at that. And then look over here is all the rocks you can buy. Ooh. Ooh. We could use one of these in the living room. No, we couldn't. Hey, blowout sale, only $300 for that one. Right. Kathy loves this place. I know, look at all the cool things you could do, not to mention all the tile. What are you gonna build next? We have to buy a house first, <laughs> so I can redo it. Most guys buy candy and flowers for their wives. I buy Kathy Makita drills and band saws. She really likes this place. I just had a 10 minute conversation in Spanish about the cockapoos. Wow. I didn't know I could say cockapoo in Spanish. How do you say cockapoo in Spanish? Cockapoo? Yeah. Someone's getting some cars delivered. Ooh. They just finished the, the walkway overhead. Look at that. Is that cool? I can't wait to go down that. We're gonna have to make a point to do that. Yeah. Maybe skate down it. Skate. Zucchini. Looks good. What else do we need for... They're bringing dessert. What else do we need? 
Oh, you know why I want to get a little jar of uh, pesto sauce, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Oh, yum. Sure we have everything. <laughs> have we missed anything? <laughs> we'll probably have but to I'll come back. You back. Yeah. Small change of plan. Just a little change, but significant enough to wrap up the day differently. And that is, Kathy here is not feeling all that great. And she's not feeling that great because she went to Chipotle yesterday. I went to Chipotle last week and I got the rumbles. I got, I got serious activity going on. And now this young lady has some activity going on, don't you? I'd rather you not talk about that. <laughs> so, uh, because she's not feeling good, we decided to call up my dad and Maddie and say, you know, we're going to do dinner a different day. Because, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You got to roll with things. It's all good. Switching it up today, uh, I, you got to roll with things. You know, it, it's important that uh, as things come in, you just kind of, you know, go left, go right, whatever, it, uh, whatever works to help expand and grow throughout the day. So today, even though uh, Maddie and Dad are not coming over for dinner, I decided I'm going to start a new sketch. But this is not a normal sketch. This was inspired by um, that half sleepy awake state, you know, the other night where I was just kind of poking around thinking about some things and this image of a Cadillac came to me in my mind. 57 Cadillac, 56, but not really sure. I decided I'm going to follow up with this. It's a technique that I have not really implemented uh, in my own style. So I thought I, I'm going to play around with this a little bit. I'm going to start out by doing this. I got this new setup that's overhead to kind of show you guys as I sketch from the top down, kind of look at how it works. So we're gonna try this out. Um, all I have to do is, is kind of uh, sketch out what the Cadillac looks like and then kind of the view I want. And then I'm gonna ink it in just today. I'm not sure I'm even gonna get that far. And then we'll kind of follow the process, but all the color's gonna be done digitally. I'm not gonna use markers or anything like that to kind of work with that. I'm just gonna literally work digitally and make it a very graphic process. So it's gonna be really interesting. So let's get started, see what happens. So this is the first pass, just the, the initial line work. I'm going to come back and I'm going to clean up, I'm going to darken all the outside stuff. about it for some of the thicker line that goes around the edges. Looks pretty good. Now I'm going to start to fill in some of these areas with solid black and start to bring those blacks out. And it's going to look really cool.
Okay, so that's about it for now, for today. I'm gonna work on it a bit tomorrow also. Some of the black is laid in. We still got more to do. Might do some of that without you guys. Just kind of fill those in. Once all the black is there together, then I'll start to put in some color. But that's it for now. Once again, a creative day. Those are the kind of days I love, uh, you know, working on all kinds of different projects. But what's important here to recognize is you got to feed the mind. You got to feed the mind positive things, things that expand and grow and and make you feel good. Now, the thing about about thinking is that whatever you focus on expands. Give someone a compliment, then they beam and they expand and they feel good and they and they want to grow and they probably you know send a couple a couple of compliments back at you, but it's important that, that you understand that process and that if you, if you criticize or blame, then you're, you're shrinking, you're contracting. But if you compliment and you, you make people feel good and you make yourself feel good by internal dialogue, then it expands, it grows, it makes you feel like you can. You want to be an I can person, not an I can't person. An I can't person, well, they just can't. But only because they believe they can. You have to believe that you can. And you gotta do everything in your power to give yourself those messages, to, to reinforce all those good things in your life. If you're going through some difficulty right now or have some challenges, maybe financial or people or, or health or something like that, you just have to believe every day that you can get through it, you will get through it, and how would it feel if you did? That's the most important aspect of this. You gotta feel as if it's already, it's already happened. And that seed will go out, it'll expand, it'll grow, just like we talked about. And, and things will mold themselves so that the I cans will happen. And you gotta do that, especially with health, because health is more important than anything else. I mean, you can be a billionaire and still be sick in bed, and that's not gonna help you. Now, whatever it is that makes you happy is what ha you have to focus on. And doing illustrations like this makes me happy to be able to show you guys, expand that, and create books and all kinds of different things. That's that's what I enjoy doing. That would but brings the most joy to me. For Kathy, it happens to be the mermaid right now. Okay, that's it for vlog 476. Thanks for watching. We will continue on the caddy a little bit later. Uh, uh, some color, some different things are gonna be happening. Uh, I am going to that show in Carson tomorrow. 80 cars in one garage. That sounds pretty good to me. 